Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, May 13th, and I'm gonna go over today's workout. Today's workout, we are starting on the five minute mark. So you'll start at zero, five, 10, and the 15 minute mark today. Uh, so the first part, the first two five minute parts is going to be 20 over and back jumps uh, over the dumbbell, and then 12 thrusters, single arm, you can switch whenever you'd like, and then we have another set of 20 over and backs over that dumbbell, and then we're gonna be doing 24 dumbbell hang, uh, power clean and jerk, and then you're gonna be alternating those, so every time you hit that hang, power clean and jerk, you're gonna be um, transferring your dumbbell to the other hand on the next rep, and then we have 20 more over and backs, and then 12 alternating devil presses. Now, the second two five minute uh, periods, we're gonna go 20 over and back, we're gonna start with those devil presses, so it'll be 12 alternating devil press, and then 20 more over and back, and then 24 dumbbell hang power clean and jerks alternating, and then 20 more over and back, and then we will end on the thrusters, so 12 thrusters at the end, so just a little bit inverted, uh, starting with the devil press instead of the thrusters. So that's the workout, y'all. We are gonna get nice and warmed up. To start off with, we're gonna start with our ankles first. So go ahead, stick that toe in the ground, give me five ankle circles one direction, and then five the other direction. Once you've done that, switch it up and do the other side. And once we've completed with that, we're gonna go shoulder circles next. So we're gonna go five shoulder rolls going backwards, followed by five shoulder rolls going forwards. And then we're gonna go into some arm swings, alternating that over and under hand till we get 20 swings. And then once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and press up onto our tippy toes and we are going to go 10 steps forward and 10 steps backwards. And once you've done that, we're gonna go to our heels, 10 steps forward, walk out on those heels, and then 10 steps backwards. And then we're gonna stick those feet all the way out to the side, get some penguin walks. We're gonna go 10 steps forward and then 10 steps backwards. And then we're gonna turn those toes facing in and we're gonna go 10 steps forward, followed by 10 steps backwards. All right, now once we finish with that, we're gonna go reverse leg cradle, reverse leg cradle, good morning, and we're gonna go through 10 of those. Leg cradle, leg cradle, good morning. After you finish the 10, we're gonna go into an air squat with a little bicycle crunch. So, hands up on your head, we're gonna go air squat, crunch, air squat, crunch, all right? That is one rep, let's go ahead and get through five of those. Air squat, crunch, air squat, crunch. Good, now once we finish with that, we'll take our arms out to the side, we'll widen up our feet and we're gonna do our windmill. So you're gonna hinge that butt back, take that opposite hand towards that opposite foot until we get five on each side. And once we've completed that, we're gonna go ahead and get in some single leg RDLs with a little leg swing, kicking all the way up. Go ahead and get five on one side followed by five on the other side. Once we finish with that, we're gonna go 10 bunny hops in place, and then we're gonna go 10 with the right foot only, and then 10 with the left foot only, and once we've done that, we're gonna do what's called a skier jump, okay? So you're gonna jump laterally, landing on one leg, and you're gonna jump and land on the other leg. Looks like this right here. So go ahead and knock out 20 of those, 10 on each side. And once you've done that, we'll go ahead and grab the dumbbell or kettlebell that we plan to use for today's workout. To start off with, we're gonna do some deadlifts. Single arm deadlift, I want five with the right hand, followed by five with that left hand. Once you finish with that, we're gonna go into some cleans. So we're going to hinge our butt and then catch in that solid power position, keeping that dumbbell nice and close to our body. Hinge, shrug, catch. Go ahead and give me three on the right hand, followed by three on the left hand. 
And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead, keep that in the waiter squat position. And we're gonna knock out three squats with that weight on the right side. And then three squats with that weight on the left side. Good, once we've done that, we're gonna switch, go into some push jerks. So for this, you're gonna dip, drive, and drop under that weight. Go ahead and give me three push jerks on one side, followed by three push jerks on the other side. Once you've done that, you can put that weight down, shake out the arms, and we're gonna talk about the devil press, okay? The devil press is a burpee, and when you jump your feet up from the burpee, you're basically going to do a snatch, okay? So, we're gonna alternate these, so one hand will be holding the dumbbell. When you drop down, drop down, jump those feet up. When I jump my feet up, I'm going from here directly overhead. Now, on the way down, I can switch, go back down to my burpee, jump, snatch. And you can switch on the ground if you would like. So we're gonna use this as a little warm up here. I want you guys to give me two on each side, practicing switching that dumbbell on the air, or you can switch it on the ground. That's gonna be the alternating devil press for today's workout. The next movement is going to be the thruster. We're all pretty familiar with thrusters, but these are gonna be single arm, and you can switch whenever you like, so you do not need to be alternating. Full depth squat, drive overhead, punch and lock out, and then you can switch anytime you like until you have reached 12, okay? Now, after that, we have the dumbbell hang, clean, and push jerk, okay? That dumbbell hang, clean, and push jerk is gonna be alternating today. So, you'll pick that weight up, you'll hinge, catch, jerk on the way down, you're gonna switch to the other side until we have a total of 24, which will be 12 on each side. So let's go ahead and practice that. Give me three on each side. Now, once we've done that, I wanna talk about the dumbbell jump overs. If we're not uh, comfortable jumping over the dumbbell, you can step over like that, and that would be one because this is an over and back, all right? If we are comfortable jumping, we're gonna jump over and back. It's a very reactive jump. One, all right? Two, three, four. So you're only gonna count on one side of the dumbbell. Every time we finish a dumbbell movement, we have 20 of these over and backs. So it's a lot of jumping today. So if we need to scale this down and do a step over, totally fine, okay? Um, so you have five minutes to complete a series and then you get to rest the remaining amount of time. So if you finish around three minutes, you'll have two minutes of rest. So you wanna move fast, but you wanna move well, keep breathing, nice steady pace, and give yourself about two minutes of recovery before, ha before having to start the next set. So that's the workout, y'all. It's a good one. Uh, just getting familiar with the dumbbell and getting really skilled with moving that in the air. Uh, so it should be a nice little burner. Have fun. We're halfway through the week.